Hello, 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 Facebook Live. I hope all is well with each and every last one of you. I wanted to be able to come on and and um and just to be able to share something with you. Um to these past couple of weeks have been absolutely um challenging especially these past couple of days but one of the things that people always ask me how do I continue hey Will how are you hun how do I continue to move forward um, with all the things that I have experienced and I'm a believer um, with all my heart that the only way I can continue to do the things that I do is because I know who has me I know who got my back I know who has my front I know who has my side and God has put people in my life um, that prays for me even when I don't even know it. And sometimes um, that's what you really need is prayer to get you through those darkest moments. And I know you guys have seen what I've been posting because so many people have reached out to me. And um, it's been hard. It's been hard at accepting the fact of the things that um, my family is going through. Um, but it's reality. No matter how successful I am in business, there's nothing like having those people close to you to be able to um, push you, encourage you, lift you up. And uh, people are showing up in ways that I never expected. So when I say this, these past couple of days been an eye opener, it's been an eye opener. Um, and even though um, it's hard, it is very hard for me to be able to accept the fact that my daughter is battling cancer, but I know cancer does not have her. And I know that I'm thankful. I'm totally thankful that I'm in a position to be here for her. Um, I remember the time when my brother was killed. My job only gave me three days off of my to be able to bereave and to bury my brother, um, even though I took longer. But then that took so take away from my um, not getting paid and so many people have reached out to me because they have experienced those same things and they wasn't prepared um, and I just want you guys to truly truly understand with whatever you do make sure that you are working on a plan for your family I it makes me want to work harder to be able to help more people. What makes me want to work harder in my business to be able to show people that it is possible. Um, it makes me work harder to be able to um, give her the energy. And, sh and she always called me that I'm I'm the one that's strong. Um, I am strong, but I have my weak moments as well. Um, but at the same time, um, I, I always have to remember who truly has my back. And... Um, You'll find out the the people that's not family, they should be family, and those are the ones that really, truly have your back, genuinely, you know, genuinely have your back. And I am a believer that um, you got to be mindful how you treat people. How you treat people. Harm is real. If you treat people... Um, you know, with no respect or no regards because you have one of those moments or that you think you better than somebody else and then you think that it's not going to come back to bite you in your butt, then you're sadly mistaken. You have to be mindful how you treat people. And so because I treat the people that I work with, the clients that I have, the business partners that I have, my goodness, they have showed up and showed out in ways that um, that's blowing my mind, um, checking on me to make sure that I that I'm eating, telling me that they're praying for me and my, my children. And, and, um, I am so grateful. I am so, so grateful. So do what you need to do for your family. Don't get permission from somebody else in order for you to prepare for emergency situations. Um, cause you never know. Um, this is heartbreaking. It is. Um, but I know that she's going to come out with an amazing testimony, amazing testimony. I have grandchildren that I have to fight for. I have to, <laughs> oh, Will, <laughs> you have to continue to um, remember that you were placed here for a purpose. 
a purpose. And I believe that my purpose was when that door closed on me in 2011. I can't believe it's been that long. In 2011, that door closed. It closed. God put that dead ball on that door for a reason. I didn't understand why that dead ball was put on that door, but he put that on the door for a reason because he knew that there was something that he had for me to do and my time was up working for somebody else. And so with me and all the things that I experienced through this journey, it's been blowing my mind because I would have never been able to be present because if, if I was working for somebody else, but because I decided to take a leap in and invest in myself and put me first and go after what I couldn't even see, but I understood my faith was bigger than me, that it allowed me to be here, to be able to have my grandson that's in the other room, to be able to make breakfast for my children, to be able to make sure that my daughter's getting to her appointments and making sure she has that medicine or just to be there, just to hold her hand or wipe her tears. God knew. I didn't, but he knew. And because I trusted in him, because I continue to lean on him, because I continue to open up and let him, ask him to be able to put those people in place of me, that those family that I thought was family was supposed to be there, but he replaced those people that was fake and foul with the people that really got my back and my children's back and my, that's right there alone is something that you can never, ever take away um, because it's bigger. It's bigger. So when I say, prepare prepare because you never know you absolutely never know so what are you doing to prepare for your future what are you doing to make sure that the bases are covered you may not know it all but at the same time just do something just do something I could be here now and I'm working on some amazing projects and I just sit back and I just thank God I thank God for giving me a vision that he provisioned on my behalf. Just like he gave you a vision, why are you not executing that vision? You know what I mean? So this made me really take a step back to be able to step take a step forward. So always remember, delay does not mean denied. Delay does not mean deny. Just like we have to go through the test in our lives in order for us to have a testimony, hold on to his unchanging hand. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have a testimony and you're going to come out more stronger. You're going to be able to come out more powerful. You're going to come out with your head held high, your back stand straight, and you could be able to help that next person. So when I say these past couple of days have been absolutely a reason to make me want to go harder, mm -hmm. To go harder, to be able to help more people. Somebody had reached out to me and told me that they had to go to a minimum wage job because how society is right now. How the, the corporate ladder is because you don't have those connections. Because you don't qualify in, the, in what they say. But then what happens to your own household? Then what? Then what? And so I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the calls. I'm thankful for the prayers. I'm thankful for um, you guys showing up when I couldn't even show up. And I know I haven't been here for a couple of days, but I thank you. I truly, truly thank you. I am forever grateful. And my dog is going crazy. So. <laughs> but I'm thankful, guys. I really, really appreciate each and every last one of you allowing me to trust in me to be able to help you to reach your ultimate goal of um, generating income, to be able to build your business, to grow your business. Um, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that you continue to be able to just show up and be here for me when I seem like I can't even show up for myself. Thank you. So I'm not going to hold on because the dog is not stopping. So I need to go catch and find out what's going on. But I thank you guys so, so much. I know people have been coming in and I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you so much, Robin. I really, <laughs> well, I didn't know you still here. I thought you was at work. <laughs> but um, I will stay on a little bit longer, but the dog is tripping right now. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I, I have to go attend to this. Oh, I thought he was going to stop, but she's not. Um, but thank you. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Um, words can express my gratitude. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So with that being said, I will be back maybe tomorrow to be able to give you something else that's been on my mind. Um, yeah, this dog is tripping. Um, 
Love you too, dear. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.